Hey guys, Carter here with Patriot Training Center. Today I want to talk to you about a couple different setups I have on Glocks for the different iron sights you can use uh, and why we choose the ones we do here at Patriot Training Center. So I've got a Glock 19 here. Um, these are all the kind of the same footprint. This is actually a 22, so it's the Glock 44 model, but they're all the same size. The, uh, the only difference really is the sights on here. So this is just a normal stock Glock 19. These are the normal basket sights. Uh, these come stock on your Glocks, and we really view these as kind of placeholder sights. Um, I'm not a big fan of them. First of all, they're plastic. Uh, sometimes they can drift out pretty easy. Uh, they have like a little basket on the back of them, and uh, I'm just not a huge fan of these sights. I don't like shooting with them. That's not to say that you can't shoot well with them. I just personally don't like them. Um, they don't have any sort of tritium or anything like that. Uh, so they're, they're not night sights at all, which isn't a crazy huge deal, but um, these, these are kind of, we view these as placeholder sights. The next thing that I have here is, uh, this is a fiber optic front sight, which I, I personally am a big fan of fiber optic sights. Um, I, I really like them. I feel like I can shoot pretty fast with them. Um, but a lot of them are small enough that I can get really fine detail. Um, and I, I'm a big fan of these. What we did here is this is a normal Glock rear sight, like a basket one, but we actually just blacked it out. So we took a paint pen and blacked out the basket. So it's just a completely black rear sight and then a front sight that's uh, fiber optic. These are really good. I, I like them. One of the downsides is uh, the fiber optic is sometimes easy, like they'll come out um, so they can break, but uh, you could still use the siding system even if it's broken. So not that big of a deal, but uh, they can be very high vis, uh, very fast to acquire, and uh, you could get very precise on them. I like these. Um, on my personal guns, I run a lot of these if I'm still running irons. Most of the time on all my guns, I'm running dots, but if I have a gun that's uh, that I have set up specifically for irons, um, I do run these on some of them. So this brings me to the ideal carry setup. If you're gonna just run uh, iron sights, you don't want a red dot. This is what we recommend. This is what we uh, give in some of our classes. Um, and we, we set it up like we would carry it. So uh, just a normal Glock 19, but it has the Ameriglow UC sights on it. So a couple things that I like about them. Um, I'm not a huge fan of having anything in my rear sight. Like uh, I don't run uh, like dots on the back. I want I want a completely blacked out rear sight. Um, the front sight is a high vis Lumi green, which I really like because it's really fast to pick up. And then the middle of it is tritium. Uh, the tritium helps it glow in the dark, uh, so it's a little bit easier for low visibility. So it's got a really big uh, high vis green dot on the front, and then in the middle of that dot, it's got the tritium, which is a really refined. Um, refined point of aim if you're looking at those really long distances. Sometimes you can see that the front sight is covering up the full, the whole target. So having that refined point of the tritium is nice when you're shooting at distances. But when you're up close, the, the big dot is really nice because it's really fast to acquire the, acquire the front sight. Um, and you can still get really fine shoot, very accurate with this gun. Um, but it's set up out of the box. You don't need to do anything to this setup. Um, and that's why I really like these sights. They're, they're metal, they have tritium, um, they're fast. You can be refined with them. This, I think these are a really great option. They're not very expensive. I think that they they retail for like 50 bucks or something like that. So not crazy, not gonna break the bank. Um, we'll, we'll really, I think that they're a huge upgrade to the normal Glock uh, stock basket sights. It doesn't matter what equipment you have on your gun, which sights you're using if your skills aren't where they need to be when you're actually shooting the gun. So the best way to get good at shooting really fast is through dry fire. That's why we've created a 30 day dry fire program. We've linked it in the description below. Go check that out and we'll catch you guys in the next one.